An injury usually spells the end of an athletic career, but there are rare times when an injury becomes a door that leads to a well-lit path to stardom. Find out whose dream ended even before it started and how everything turned out even better in the end. In this video, we talk about a young athlete in the pole vault arena. She started out on a different path and chose a different sport, but maybe it was destiny that brought her to the field to become a vaulter worthy of being called a star. Aussie born but New Zealand, raised Olivia McTaggart, came into the world on January 9, 2000. This bright-eyed little girl fell in love with gymnastics at a young age that she spent most of her childhood in the gym, hanging and swinging on the bars. But winging and flipping on bars were not enough for little Olivia. She pursued the sport and was a competitive gymnast at an elite level for 10 years. However, as fate would have it, she received news mid-2014 that left her devastated and shattered her dreams of being a superstar gymnast. One of the worst news a passionate athlete who has high hopes for her career can ever receive is having an injury. An injury can either slow down a career or destroy it forever. Unfortunately for Olivia, she was unable to pursue her gymnastic path due to significant back problems. At 14, her goal of being a famous gymnast has already reached its end. While nursing her broken back, Olivia looked for another sport that would give her the same excitement and thrill brought about by gymnastics. And yes, you guessed it right, she switched her leotards to tights and the ribbons to a pole. Olivia was not into pole vaulting at first. So how did she come to love the sport? It was actually her teammate and friend Imogen Eris who lured her to polish a pole instead of brandishing a ribbon. Imogen, Another Kiwi athlete was at the time six months into pole vaulting and although still a rookie then, convinced Olivia to give the sport a try. Pole vaulting was actually not that good for Olivia's back, however, she gave it a go, adapted and fell in love with the thrill of the sport. Who knew that years later, apart from being the influencer in Olivia's life, Imogen would hold another special place in Olivia's heart. In a 2018 interview, Olivia gushes that Imogen is her favorite roommate ever. She had so much fun traveling the world together for months on end, and they never get sick of each other. It seems that apart from the sport, Olivia also enjoys the experiences behind the scenes. Early on in her career, Olivia has shown unbelievable skills that set her apart from other athletes of her time. How many rookies do you know can do so well on her first rodeo? Maybe being a pole vaulter really is in her blood. While others take some time to snatch their first medal and break records, it doesn't seem that way for this up and coming star. It didn't take that long for Olivia to snag her first medal. Less than six months of training, Olivia took home her first bronze when she competed at the under 16 category at the Australian Junior Championships. Being her first, this win will always hold a special place in her heart. She also achieved a personal best in her first international competition and was followed by winning of gold in the Nationals. It was about this time that Olivia realized she could go a long way in the sport. At 16, she broke a record set by another Kiwi pole vaulter three years her senior. Eliza McCartney, an Olympic bronze medalist, got her record shattered when Olivia cleared the bar at 4.22 m, 11 cm higher than Eliza's previous mark. Eliza may have gotten her record broken, but she couldn't be any happier for her friend and co-athlete. She even took to Instagram her greeting for Olivia and congratulated their coach, Jeremy McCall, for apparently cracking the pole vault formula. With two champs in his roster, there really is a big possibility that coach Jeremy has the secret formula to produce star athletes, don't you agree? Maybe one of the secrets to the good relationship between coach Jeremy and his athlete Olivia is the guidance that he gives to the latter. According to Olivia, her favorite advice she received from him is that pole vault is akin to a big puzzle with lots of pieces, and she's just continuously trying to put them all together to create the best jump she can create. For her, it sums up the technicality and challenge of the sport, which is why she loves it and also why sometimes she doesn't. Despite Olivia's better performance and finish in other competitions, according to her, the 2018 Commonwealth Games, held in Gold Coast, was probably her most memorable yet. 
apart from it being her first major international meet at the senior level, where she placed ninth. She also competed alongside her brother, Cameron. But before we talk about the other famous McTaggart, let me remind you to hit that little bell button telling you to subscribe. We have more amazing videos and features you surely should miss. Yes, folks, Olivia is not the only famous McTaggart in the athletic arena. Cameron has also made a name for himself, although in the weightlifting division. Brother Cameron is a star in his own right being that he is an Olympian and also a Commonwealth Games athlete. Seems like athleticism truly runs in their blood. Olivia adores her brother, so much so that according to her the best competition she ever witnessed was Cameron competing at the Tokyo Olympics. While she only saw her brother on screen, no other competition compares to her emotions at the time. Who knew this pole vault rock star is a softie when it comes to her brother? While we're on the topic of weightlifting, who would have thought that this is Olivia's favorite sport after pole vaulting? We could have guessed her to pick gymnastics, but maybe this athlete is just really keen on surprising her fans one detail and achievement at a time. According to her, weightlifting helps a lot in pole vaulting. During her training the last couple of years, she has developed a love for the similarity in technical components of weightlifting and pole vaulting. And being able to push herself at the gym, she recognizes that weightlifting definitely helps her jumping. Jokingly, she denied loving weightlifting because of Cameron. As with any sport at this level, Olivia also has setbacks in her career. It was actually not as smooth sailing as we thought it was. First, she dealt with transitioning from gymnastics to pole vaulting and, of course, dealing with her injury. Then, three weeks out from the Commonwealth Games, she tore her ligament in her ankle during a warm-up exercise at the Nationals. According to her, it was not so much the injury, but rather learning how to deal with it. Despite the challenges, Olivia was still grateful that she was able to learn such lessons at a young age and looked at them as advantageous to her. While her performance at the Commonwealth Games was not as impressive and didn't produce the results she was hoping for, they fulfilled this athlete's childhood dream to return to the Gold Coast, her place of birth, to compete at only 18 years old. At 19, she won the national senior title. She proudly looks back at this achievement as one of her favorites. At the time, she didn't have the best buildup, but she dove into it with full faith in her ability, and it turned out to be the best jump she ever did. While she prefers to look at the good that happened in this competition, it was at this time when she got injured while attempting to clear the bar. On her first attempt at the 4.40 m height, her pole dramatically snapped in midair, sending her crashing to the mat where she hurt her wrist. She tried eating with an injured wrist and won. However, she was sidelined for a surgery and much needed rest. Despite what happened, she kept a positive outlook and a cheerful disposition that made us love her even more. Currently, this 22-year-old added a sponsored athlete and Toyota, New Zealand ambassador is positioned at 10th in the world in the women's pole vault division. While seated so highly at the top of the pole, she still aims to be part of the Olympics, which she is reportedly working so hard for. We can contain our excitement to see her at the Olympic arena. Judging from her interviews and what she shares online, Olivia amazes her fans and sports enthusiasts alike not just with her athletic skills and beauty, but also with her matured mindset. She has full faith in herself and trusts her training. She believes in pushing herself to the limits, and if challenges arise, instead of questioning them and looking at things negatively, she looks for the silver lining in every situation, just like in the many downs she encountered throughout her career. Now that we have reached the end of the video, what can you say about Olivia McTaggart? Do you have anything to share with us regarding this superstar athlete who is still bringing her stellar career to even more dizzying heights? What was your favorite moment of Olivia? Put them in the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. If you have other athletes you would want us to feature, do let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and watch these playlists that we have created for you. Have a nice day and see you in our next video.